Shalom. 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 It's true. Before we get started, we want to give all glory on and praises to yeah. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. The Bonner City Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, peace and salutation. Blessing to the Akim, pushing his word of truth and sincerity, risking your lives and freedom to do so now more so than ever. All right, we the brothers from the GMS Cleveland branch here to feed the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, the people of Negro and Indian descent, as well as the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth among the heathens. To you, we say Shalom. Shalom. Hey, Shalom. Shalom. Ratiza Abanawa, Ratiza, this is an edifying lesson. Um, and we just gonna, you know, you know, is, we just gonna speak on current events. We just gonna speak on whatever come to mind. May I? Um, yeah. Bible yeah. Bashar, this was an article that was just uploaded 48 minutes ago <clears throat> via RT News. Um, it actually already has the date, so I guess wherever they're at, it says December 5th. Yeah, December 5th. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it yeah, says tomorrow. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's in literally two hours, but I guess where this was uploaded, it says already December 5th. It's another article. time zone, right? Exactly, another time zone. It says, Biden says he won't force Americans to vaccinate. That's but, a lie. But will do everything in his power to encourage them to do the right thing. Mm. Okay, and like the And the right thing to do is refuse this vaccination. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the right thing to do. That's if right. You, if you're in your right mind. Can I bring out a You know what I'm saying? That's the right thing to do. Refuse this vaccination. You got it. Um, since the brother was like, um, that's a lie. This is the book of Sirach. Oh, it's like a book of Ecclesiasticus or the book of Sirach. Chapter 12, verse 10. Mm -hmm. Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Mm-hmm. Verse 11, though he humble himself and go crouching. And part of how he go crouching, you know, there was an, actually another article that was speaking about how in the UK, because they were one of the first ones to roll out with the Pfizer uh, uh, vaccination. In the UK, they were encouraging uh, certain celebrities, Con. okay, using them to encourage the masses to get the uh, uh, inoculation, if you will, or the, the injection, if you will. Okay, so that's a part of how he go humbling himself. He, you know, he tries to use these different smooth words as if we're not going to force you. We're not going to mandate it. You know, but it's a lie. Because like the brother said, man, he come with smooth words, but war is in his heart, man. You got it up. Verse 11. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. Mm -hmm. And though, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou has wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. Mm -hmm. And that's why, yeah, man, like I said, take good heed and beware of him, man. Yeah, man, you got to know that you got an enemy out here, man. And that he got ulterior motives, that he want to see your people destroyed. That's what Psalms, the 83rd chapter, speaks about, man. All right, it talks about, you know what I'm saying, how these enemies have consulted, how they're, you know, a confederate against thee. And how they pretty much want to cut us off from being a nation. And this is one of the ways they're trying to do so by, you know, going ahead and, you know, mandating this here uh, Maxine, man. All right. That's one of the ways how they're trying to cut us off from being a nation, trying to have us sinning against our power. You know, having it do whatever it does to you because God knows what type of, uh, you know, uh, uh, altering things it may do to your body in regards to your DNA, in regards to your mind, you know, how you think and all that, man. Okay, so this is a way of how this devil is trying to separate us from our power and cause us to earth from the Heavenly Father, man. Okay. And keep us sinning so that way he can try to rule and be on top, man. Huh. He wants control. Because we know at the end of the day it's going to lead to the chip. You got it, right? Huh. And this is really about compliance. You know, he's trying to, you know, see who's all willing to wear this mask, who's all willing to, you know, get this uh, vaccination, man. This is all about compliance at the end of the day. Because he was going to know that everyone who doesn't comply are going to stick out like a sore thumb. Huh. You got a lot. I got another scripture. This is a book of um, in the New Testament, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, um, verse 11. At least Satan should get advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. When you're going, I mean, the word ignorant is what? Not aware. Mm -hmm. We are aware. You know what I mean? That's, I mean, you know. Lord willing, the Most High is sucking with us. Mm -hmm. That's why we are aware of things that the average people look at us like something wrong with us. Something wrong with you. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, if you can't see, like I said, they literally pass mandates and laws saying that these people can't be sued. Mm -hmm. 
Right. And now all of a sudden, all these major corporations, like I said, these people that's creating these vaccines is talking about, we not for sure it's going to work. Right. So right. why the fuck you mandating it then? Exactly. Yeah, what you done on there? You got a little bit more, brother. I got another scripture. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, that was pretty much the end of that one. But, you know, Isaiah 42 and 9. Yeah, please. Uh, I'm almost got it. 42, verse 9. It says, um, this is Isaiah chapter 42, verse 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and the new things do I declare before they spring forth, I tell you of them. That's right, man. And the Lord speaks by his service to prophets. You know, and that's what he's doing. He told you these things before they will occur. As a matter of fact, what the brother speaks about, I got the article pulled up because it says four months ago. When this article came out, we spoke on it when it was, you know, the fresh topic of the week. Now it's four months later, and they're talking about, look, we're uh, we're not sure if this is going to actually cure the problem. This is RT News. Again, this was uploaded July 31st, 2020. Bubble indemnity is what it's titled. Big Pharma firms will not, in big bold letters, not be held accountable for side effects of C-19 vaccine, man. All right, and that's right in the headline alone. Not even having to go even much further, but there's much more to read, and you can look it up at your own leisure, man. Okay, the point being, they're not going to be held accountable. Here it is, four months later, the Pfizer CEO is talking about he's not 100% for certain if it's going to fix the problem. All right, so yeah, man, that's why the scriptures say never trust thy enemy. That's why the scripture calls him the forger of lies, a physician of no value. Okay, because he's just that, man. His intent isn't to uh, 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 actually heal and cure the problem. Like the scriptures say in Revelation 6 and 4, his intent is to cause more chaos. Okay, how does it go? Well, let me get it. Um, Revelation 6, what it says. Uh, bear with me. Revelation 6 yeah. and 4. Yeah, it's yeah. talking about take peace from the earth. Mm -hmm. It says, and there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him. That power was given him by way of uh, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, man. Okay, uh, back when you had uh, in Genesis, what is it, the 27th chapter, it talks about the blessing in uh, which he gave unto uh, 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 Esau, okay? Yeah, okay. you know, and this was a part of that blessing in which he received, it, which was the sword. Okay. It says, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. But the point being that his sole intent is to take peace from the earth, man. And that's why he's, you know what I'm saying, talking about trying to, he's trying to do something that here it is, the vast majority of not only America, but other citizens of the world would be against. Oh. You see what I'm saying? He's trying to force something that majority is not going to be with, man. And he know he's going to get backlash. That's why he's going to literally have to come down with great wrath, like Revelation 12 and 12 says. Perfect time yeah. to bring it out. Because oh. at the end of the day, like like I said, it's it's actually in the regular news. Like I I watched this and witnessed this for myself. Mm -hmm. They literally did it on like the day to day news where they saying that, you know, m most lowly Jake that's like you know, um, like you know, low income, you know, poverty, um, impoverished Jake. They're literally they going by what Esau say, but a lot of educated, um, you know, not just Edomites because anybody could be went through they like indoctrination you know, can actually learn or whatever. The point is, most people that, they said, basically did a study. Most people that actually went to college, they said they're not willing, they don't trust this. Like, right. That. I did a video recently on RT. They had a whole thing. That's why they're coming with, like you said, the brother from um, Men of Valor, the brother Atazawan, um, literally showing that UK article talking about basically they got to actually bribe people. Uh, he basically he wanted to the fact that people don't think that these these celebrities are actually like set up for the system. Mm -hmm. They're stumbling block. That's right. Right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Well, you mentioned the impoverished of our nation. Okay. You mentioned the low income, the minorities of our nation, so called Negro, Latino, Native, and Seminole Indian. Uh, and I got this other article that was also uploaded today, December fourth, twenty twenty. With the headline that reads about again those stimulus checks, it says, "Would a fifteen hundred dollar payment make you more likely to get a COVID 
uh, Maxine. All right, and as you mentioned, those lower income, you know, this is how they're going to come down, having great wrath, which I also have that scripture lined up. All right, this is one form of how Esau is, you know, fixing to come down with great wrath. You know, it's slowly but surely coming with gradualism of uh, this wrath, man. And a part of it is getting our people to sin against the Heavenly Father in regards of taking that Maxine. He's trying to use bribery to do so. You got it, brother. I got a, a, a script, if you don't mind. Because basically, like you said, basically this is going to become mandated. Right. But right now, like like you said, they're trying to, you know, Esau's a master of, like, gradualism and all that type of stuff. He, you know, he, he to, um, the most I gave him the power to understand, you know, psychology mm -hmm. and, you know, the workings of the brain. So, you know, that's why they do certain things. That's why they created projects to keep niggas mm -hmm. in a... That's why you got, you know, project family generations. You got... Generations of people that grow up in the project. Projects was never meant for you to literally live there forever. Right. It's meant for you to actually get yourself together and get the fuck up out of there. Mm -hmm. But you got people that's whole family been there forever. That's a curse. That's a curse. Um, this is um, the book of Isaiah chapter 10, verse 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous uh, decrees and that write grievousness which they have prescribed. Mm -hmm. Verse 2. To turn, to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people. And that's, well, a, yeah, I'm sorry. Go no, ahead. you go ahead, bro. What I was going to say, just land back and off the scripture you brought out, that's a part of the unrighteous decrees in regards of setting up certain mandates and such. Well, telling you, look, we're not going to uh, make it mandatory, but we're going to deny you access to these public venues in regards of whether you need to get certain substance or come in public, you know, to shop and things like that, those green Areas, as we mentioned, you know, they're going to deny access to such. This is a form of them, again, coming down and having great wrath by, you know, not allowing you to do the certain things that you were once able to do as far as trying to survive, you know, take care of your daily, you know, needs. Okay, that's a part of his unrighteous decrees. What he's setting up in even regarding that $1,500 stimulus. You got it, bro. Come on. Bring it back. You said they turn aside the needy from judgment. Okay, and that's also what Esau does, you know. They, uh, 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 Go ahead, brother. I'm sorry. I'm going to bring it back. It's chapter, um, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 2. To turn aside the needy from judgment mm -hmm. and to take away the right from the poor. And who are the poor? You know, it's, it's so-called blacks, Hispanic, Native Americans, the Israelites. You know what I mean? We are the lowly poor on this side. Mm -hmm. We look down upon all that. We the poor and impoverished of this kingdom. That's right. It says, um, of my people... That widows may be their prey, which they take about. That's why you got these women. Our women is the main women that buck up these, these, these nigga women. That's what we call them, nigga women. That's right. You know what I mean? The women of the other nations ain't in out of line like our women because they came and, you know, it's a movie. Um, it had um, James Earl Jones in it, um, and it shows, I, I can't... I, 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 a brother, the brother from Mental Valley, the head, actually recommended it, but it show you when they literally started that whole Section 8 and taking the man out of the house, he had to leave the house because they would pop up and be checking. Yeah, right. I can't think. Claudine? Yeah, that's what it is. Claudia, Claudine. Claudine. Yeah. Yeah, you in the spirit. It says, um, so they, they taking advantage of her. She's a prey. Because mm -hmm. at the end, they... Now they got a man out the house, so yeah. what's she gonna do? And you seen that when they locked this shit down. Mm -hmm. yeah, they sure. ain't even tell you. So, so, go ahead, bro. Mm -hmm. the, they ain't even tell you. They didn't report all the crimes that happened. Nope. You, if you believe that, you a fucking idiot. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I may say, uh, when the first lockdown had occurred back in March, they actually uh, told the police to be more lax. Right. You know, because of the cases. Uh, spiking, they release more criminals. Okay, they said don't pull people over, even if it's just for simple speeding. You know, uh, uh, only come for like something major. Right. You know, they 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 weren't coming out for petty crimes. So it was a lot of lawlessness going on, and that's what's about to ensue again. Sure. You got it out. Back into this, in chapter, um, Isaiah chapter ten, verse two. It says that widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fatherless. Mm -hmm. And who are the fatherless? That's our children. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, and they've been taking advantage of our children since the beginning of this year. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? Like, this is our captivity. And you got a lot of Jake that love this shit, but, you know, 
it, you know, it is what it is. You know, at the end of the day, our job is to try and wake you up. That's you right. Know? And that's what we're doing this whole lesson. That's right. That's right. You got it. You had something lined up? You got it. Uh, I had a scripture. Um, this is Sharak chapter 13, verse 4. It say, if thou be for his prophet, he will use thee. But if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee. Mm -hmm. uh, and going back to with the whole Maxines and all of these things going on, Esau, Esau is about to use these people, give them a Maxine, you know, and after that, you know, give them a chip, and after that, it's, 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 he, he, he pretty much go have the people. Right. Because verse 5, it say, if thou have anything, he will live with thee, yeah, he will make thee bitter and will not be sorry for it. Mm -hmm. So Esau just need the majority of the people to be like, all right, I'll take this Maxine, I'll mm -hmm. take the chip, and that's what's gonna happen. Then that's what's gonna exalt Esau's power, and and that that that's gonna be more control for Esau, because right. he got mass of the earth following after his new world order. You I was say something? I was just thinking because at the end of like when you go in the scriptures talk about the council of the wicked, you know what I mean. When we first we did this prior, you know what I mean? Like like you said, this 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 article is months old. Mm -hmm. Like like literally, like you know, it talks about how the council of the wicked is literally gonna plot against everybody. Like literally, like that's why they got these think tanks, like the Brookings Institute. They came up with the whole idea when we did a video on that. You know what I mean? Like literally, they literally sat back and was like, well, damn. You know, the brother of um, Amawan Gabar from um, the main camp, he literally just did a video I put in the group chat. He was like, you know, they fat these people up. Right. They gave them all this money. People that wasn't used to getting this type of money literally got money they ain't never had, so they right. went, got cars and right. shit. <laughs> they did all, all kind of dumb ass shit. Right. And now, then they slow. You know, that's, man, that's a tactic of war. You know what I mean? You sweeten a motherfucker up. Mm -hmm. That's just like a motherfucker that's selling you drugs, right? Mm -hmm. And then finally, he know you thinking he the coolest nigga in the world. He don't want to come back and rob your dumb ass. You know, he done let you do. Man, they don't know what's about to happen to them. You got it. He say, if thou have anything, he will so like in verse six, it say, if he have me of thee, he will deceive thee and smile upon thee. And put thee in hope, and he will speak thee fair and say, "What one is thou?" Mm -hmm. And that's what he gonna do when um when it's when it's no more um, government assistance and when everything locked down, mm -hmm. you know. And, and these people, Esau gonna make it to a point where these people gonna be begging to take the the Maxine or or the C or any of that. Cause verse seven it say, "And he will shame thee by his meats." Until he have drawn thee dry twice or thrice, and at the last he will laugh thee to scorn, and afterwards when he seeth thee, he will forsake thee and shake his head at thee. Mm -hmm. So at the end of this, when everybody got the um, the swords because they took that mark, and when the Lord is about um, when the Lord come back and destroy this place, and then these people go feel that shame. And then they gonna know that they did the wrong thing, but it's gonna be too late. You know, it's even gonna be too late for Esau, cause he gonna uh, get judged and thrown into slavery too. So, now that's just like the brother read the scripture: never trust our enemy. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and that's why we never ought to trust our enemy, man. All right. Uh, last but not least, I got this here: Revelation twelve, verse twelve. All right. It reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. You know, and that's the time period that we're heading into again. We bring this out often. Because this is what he is fixing to do. Come down having great wrath, man. All right, again, like the brothers mentioned, how he fattened up the people. He uh, got these people all excited, gave them, you know, for unemployment, extra 600 bucks a month. You know, every week, I mean, you know, with each check or whatever, gave them, you know what I'm saying, these stimulus checks, gave them the PUA money, 
you know, the PUC and all the other different programs and benefits, man. And then, like the brother mentioned, slowly but surely start to take it away. You see what I'm saying? And then, now that he got most of you people relying upon him, you know, go and throw this here stimulus check with the exception that you get that shot. Right, you see what I'm saying? So, this is another form of how, you know, E is going to come down having great wrath. And we see that, again, it's going to lead to the chip. It's going to lead to him, you know, mandating it, man. And this is in the near future, again, with him talking about rolling things out, starting out uh, early as this, going into next week, man. Okay, so if brothers don't have anything else, you know, that pretty much will conclude this here. Uh, you know, video, which we hope was edifying. We let him give our praise, honor, and glory. Until you know, how Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem Rachav Dash. All right, again, the honors to the apostles, the elders, the great millstone, who rule well. All right, much love, salutations to the action scattered abroad across the four corners of the earth, pushing his word in sincerity and the truth, risking their lives and freedom to do so. To you, we say Shalom and Abad the Boar. Abad the Boar. Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, my wife, love the ball. Shalom.